Hi, I'm Bridget Dale. Valentine's Day is about a week away. It's on a Saturday this year, which unfortunately makes single people feel all the more pressure to get a date or hide one or the other. I've got good news. MySpace has removed 90,000 sex offenders. So get in there and meet somebody. Is that supposed to make us feel better? That's kind of like telling me you've removed 10 pieces of poo from a pool. Does not make me want to go in the pool. Gross! Yeah, I kind of regret saying that. Back to Valentine's Day coming up. I know it's a manufactured holiday, but there's something really endearing about a grown man in the Valentine's aisle by himself looking at all the chocolates and bears. Or a guy standing in line with a big stuffed Valentine's animal. All the girls in line look at him like the same way they would look at a baby in a stroller. I don't think guys are going to like that metaphor. Not like a baby so much when you see somebody with a Christmas tree strapped to the top of their car. We admire the effort to enjoy life and not be scroogey. That reminds me, an update from the Christmas season. Um, your boyfriend still does not want silk boxers. Not for Christmas, not for Valentine's Day. I just read this prediction that in the future, when all the phones have video chat capabilities, first dates are usually going to be video chat dates and not what the most common first date is now, which is a coffee date. I love coffee dates. I love coffee and I love dates. So the coffee date is kind of heaven for me. Video chat first dates would be horrible. I might not like anybody. Plus, I might be intimidating on first dates that are video chat dates because of my advanced webcam skills. I'd all be doing this and this and this. Maybe one of these. It looks easy, but really not just anyone can do it. And then they might just be like there, sitting a little too close to the camera, like some kind of close talker. But Bridget, you go too close to the camera all the time. Yeah, but that's my inner monologue. I would never do inner monologue on a first date. Other bad things about video chat first dates. You don't get coffee. You don't get out of your house. Being in separate places makes small talk harder. You can't smell each other. That's important. You don't get to see his outfit choice. Unless you say something like stand up and turn around, which is awkward. And then if you do ask him to do that, you're going to have to react somehow. You're going to have to be like, you look really good. But what if he looked really bad? And the worst thing, you won't get to make eye contact. He'll be looking at the video of you, and you'll be looking at the video of him, and you'll never be looking at each other's eyes. If this whole video chat first date thing starts becoming a trend, you gotta fight the trend, people. No, I have not forgotten about Maddie's new trick. Maybe next week.